Like Maracas Beach on a sunny day Smiling like we just reach on a holiday Feel the Caribbean breeze sit in your face Cause baby honestly there's no better place song and like you know, they want to sing your chorus so, <laughs> you know no, nah, really. so simply he mute us now nah, and and i was saying i was saying oh god i was yeah. saying like um you know simply he's a man he liked to to cut the intro song before <laughs> it reached the chorus and he's as learning. i watch him like you know we we trying to teach him how to you know host a podcast you know big <laughs> 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 up yourself by simply by you know what i mean Oh Simple as that. Have so you made it into a sound effect yet? No, not yet, boy. I ain't got time, boy. Sure. Anyways, peoples, welcome to the Come Let We Go podcast. You're surely the king of back and out of the Lord of Chaos. The night one of the world, the S to the I to the M to the P to the L to the Y to the E. DJ mm. Simply E in the building. Yeah, guys, you don't know what batch, the batch, the girl, I'm the batch. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I've been having a bittersweet existence. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just mellow today. Like, you you guys will find out in a bit why why I feel like this, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. And we have... Yeah, man, it's your boy DJ Bradshaw in the building, representing UK just every time. You know, so we're there. <laughs> is that what, what kind of thing is that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, fellas, listen. I know everybody misses us. Everybody, they miss us uh, last three week. Weeks, three weeks, you know. About three weeks, boy. Three but weeks? you know what? Yeah. The last one was posted three weeks ago. It was, it was, yeah, before Carnival. It so was if, two, two weeks and we on a Tuesday. Hey, you, hey. Oh, hey, let's If you guys say. didn't know, Simply E's just been too busy and tired and my wife. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was like, hold on, hold on. Simply, we do this podcast this week. Or, well, 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 my wife. <laughs> and, this guy. And, and my toe hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't, anyway. sp- I can't speak because my toes are it. So, yeah. So you're two two hitting. No, oh no, you. So you, so you, so you is one of them fellas, all right? They feel looking for directions and they're searching for somebody house and they have music playing in the car. To, yeah, that's low on your music to see better. That's just a black people thing, no? <laughs> <laughs> is that not? So is that not a black people so, thing. So no, if, so if you're trying to find directions, right? Yeah, there's a little music to see better. No, Batch does that, no. <laughs> Batch turns the music down because it's concentrated in the rain. Nah, 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 nah. You see, you see, more time when you're um, you know, you know, driving the vehicle, right? And you're trying to listen. Yeah, the vehicle. Vehicle. Ve- the vehicle. No, 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 no. It's not a Volkswagen Beetle. It's a vehicle. <laughs> all yeah, right. It's not right. a vehicle. <laughs> um, you know, for some reason, like Bradshaw loves to be the co-pilot. Mm. Yeah. And it's like. Bradshaw think we in a rave every time we drive in the car dog like because we, we are we'll be going somewhere yeah <laughs> and Braddy <laughs> <laughs> Braddy Braddy's all mixing in the car okay yeah? I wouldn't go that because far he, listen, he, connect, he doesn't connect his phone to the car music system you know mm-hmm. he connects his laptop fam no yeah. no no the ox no, bro the ox call the ox call no via bluetooth no and man's trying to mix no man's trying no, to mix no. on the journey and it's, there's no. a delay in the bluetooth you know what I mean and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to listen to the stuff now you know bro. what it's funny he says about a delay in the bluetooth call. remember when we were by Lana's house mm. and I was DJing for Brother B, Killer and Grill. Oh, they had name dropping here and go on then. And I was on my laptop and the, the delay between the uh, laptop and the Bluetooth speaker was mad. Mm. And like having to visually mix and not like, aud- how do you say it? Audially mix. Audibly. But Audibly you know, mix. You know, mad. You, know, you, know what's, you know what's mad about it, yeah? Mm. Because um, Bradshaw was usually slow to do anything, yeah? He was <laughs> just in time. <laughs> 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 and for some reason, like anytime Brad, like the other day we were walking up the steps here, yeah, and yeah. I had to look around like, what the hell? Because he's walking up the steps here, yeah, and I'm hearing like a, a like a, um. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like oompa loompa doompa dee dee. I even <laughs> remember what opened they... the door for Brad D. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! 
I even remember that day, you know, that was when we came here, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, was that was Sunday. Sunday. Was it Sunday? Yeah, and I made breakfast for everybody. Well, no, no, well you make it for your family and us now, but yeah, you yeah, try yeah. to differentiate between... The, now, everybody, if you don't know... Hello, you fuck out, you eat, ain't? I didn't eat what you made. Oh, this mother ass boy. Because you made that oh, for your family. Though. I didn't. Did, we, oh yeah, we can eat some before and then I no, said this and I'm gonna cook for everybody. He, he did bun and, he got bun and cheese. Huh? Bun and cheese. Bun? Nobody can give me bun. No, you can get the bread and bun. cheese. Bread and cheese. Yes. I consume the bread and he cheddar. Is, now 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 everybody knows that whenever I turn up at um DJ Simply E and, and Wi Fi's um place establishment of our, of, of our board. Yeah, Trinity Bay Production Studios, the home of um Batch the Bachelor, the girl and the spatula in the flesh. You know, hey, girls are only like me and on their flesh. Uh, get to the point, man. Yeah. <laughs> um I just always enter the front door. Well, I right, would hope so. Turn right and head straight to the refrigerator and find the cheddar. Then go to the bread basket and find the bread. And I have a nice bread and cheese. And and I'm not gonna lie, it, it's like three times the three previous times I was here. There was no bread and cheese, like, and I was just disappointed. And I was saying to to simply Antonio, like, I'm not, I, I'm not coming back here. I'm mm-hmm. not. There's no bread and cheese. If you know I come in here, why don't no bread and cheese? And then simply just about coffee and and, and 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 I had to say to him, I was like, you know, I don't like how I just be talking to you nowadays. Like, I need to talk to you with a little bit more respect, in the way. <laughs> this guy's so unsociable, just. Just get his yeah. friend out in the we, middle, we of, the the middle of a podcast and he's taking out the phone because he, he, you know, for social media. Nah. Hi guys. Right, so, oh God, come let we go podcast show. You don't know, hey, that rhyme boy. They holding me, they holding <laughs> me here, like, they holding me hostage here. All here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On about. Anyways, hostage, yeah. yeah. So make up to everybody. Yeah, all oh, oh, you see this video post on Insta and all kind of thing. I get Yo, you don't have to film properly, do you? I'm sure my bare head is fidgeting, bro. Bare fidgeting. <laughs> bro, I'm sure my head was half out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. Well. yeah, guys. <laughs> Again, fuck all. I've Hey yo, listen. Hey, anyway, listen. Yeah, what? Happened? Yeah, but uh, I mean, we we here, we here, we here. No, no, I'm here. What, bro? You go and say yeah. first, eh, before you we go. haven't been here, and a lot has happened in the time we haven't been here, bro. So let's take it back three weeks. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, you not, effect? yeah. Have you not got the the backspin? No, is that not in the budget? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> what What did you just say? <laughs> it's a technical term. Don't do that. <laughs> It's a all that, up. <laughs> all that, all that rainbow talk, boy. What going on, all that, boy? Let's rewind three weeks. Right, good. Um, carnival, carnival, not in a carnival. What everybody do for carnival, man? I mean, my, uh, our carnival started on the Thursday, innit? No. Wednesday. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, we, we were at Scala on the Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then UK Zest on the Thursday. Then the versus Zest. Big up the. Jeez. Big up the Lucian family Trinidad that came out to represent. Dad killer. Trinidad Killer, me and Trinidad Killer mash East, up the place West, different. Dance out, dance out, dance Yo, dance you see that competition? East, West, Man had out. girls on top of girls on top of girls splitting and dancing on him it was to ridiculous. earn money, cash money. Okay, cash money. Then. I big up cash money. Yeah, big up, big up cash money, brothers. Yo, you see, you see Chrissy and not not big Lano, not 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 the Lano that we know. Yes, not Lano, young Lano. Lano. Young Lano. Young Lano. Oh, big up God. yourself, young Lano and Chrissy went in. Chrissy all went in the toilet, throw up, wash out she face, run back in again, and east, west. No, dance out, dance out, dance out, dance out, dance out. No, we have to split the winners all because they were going real bad. All in all, I watch you all and I just lost, right? Because you wasn't there. You were supposed to be there. With your you know, wife. Because I, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and my toe. <laughs> my toe. <laughs> my toe, now, All right, so guys, for those of you that, uh, let, me, let me bring everybody up to speed. I fractured my toe some weeks ago. No, everybody but they already know this. Toe, right. They already I know this. I just remind them now. I remind I feel them like now, boy. The more important news is that we had Trinidad Killer over here. You know what I mean? Mm. All the way from Trinidad, like the king of Zest. One of the pioneers of the Mr. Green as genre. well. You understand? Mm. Um, they were live in living color here at UK Zest. It was a special zest because it was Denery meets Zest. Zest meets Denery. Mm-hmm. You know, big up DJ Lightning and the whole Lucian team. Of the Lucian team. Big up we Black had Boy. Black Boy. We had Subans. We had Kuya Fire. Oh my days. Let me tell Bad. you about something. Yeah? Black Boy is my brother. You know? Black Bad. Boy always in the zest. Mm. Yeah? But you see Kuya, Kuya have a type of energy, dog. Like, I had to get that brother E ratings. That brother yeah. is a real G. You know, big up Black Boy, big up D Boy, big up Shea, big up the whole 
I did then we segment family, the Saint Lucian family. Big up um, part of the UK Zest family. Mm. They get me, but you see, Kuya Fire they give me ratings still. But yeah, wait, hold on. Kuya Fire dog. I feel like we've made a mistake. Hold up. Didn't um, Freeze. This, this is the bumper police. I'm yeah, so we just said the girl them start to go mad. Yeah, oh it's bad. God. That's his song. He's mad. Didn't our uh, didn't our kind of weekend start the weekend before Mingle Boat Ride? Or have you, know, you already spoken you know, about it? You know what, yeah? You know what, yeah? Mm. Bradshaw kind of like. He's living his best life at the moment, so he's mixing stuff up. Like, he's mixing up everything. It's all a blur, if it's I'm all, honest. It's, it's, it's a blur, but nah, you see, Those you see vibes. the mingle boat ride. The mingle boat ride, boy. Jesus mm. Christ. Pure energy. The, the mingle boat ride, mm. I'm not going to lie, I didn't have a ticket, so I stormed the boat. Oh, God. But <laughs> when I reach on the boat with my brethren Bradshaw, Maya, out of... After that, after entertainment. that entertainment. Well, they're part of UKZS as well. Of they're course. They're part of the UKZS family. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it was like the UKZS boat ride because oh we God. shell the place down. Oh, my days. Mm-hmm. Big up to oh Marcus. Oh, my days. Big up to the Mingo family. Gary. They always Michigan. look out. Listen, yeah. they always look out for UKZS family. 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 They always look out for us. Like, they always treat us good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, big big up you. Big up you. Yeah, don't definitely. Know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, then... Mingo bought right a week before. Big up Benjai as well. Benjai was sick. Yes, yeah, big up the one boy Benjai. So we leave the boat and went to Benjai show. Oh, big up Melik. Me- G- hey, listen. Oh, Melik. Melik. Why this carnival was too late? <laughs> because the bamboo man was here for the ladies. Yo, Melik is such a nice brother. Like, the, the, yeah, he real, he's such oh. a down to earth guy. Yeah, yeah, he, nice, yeah. yeah he real cool. Don't. He real cool. <laughs> he's nice, yeah. <laughs> 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 he's a, anyways, <laughs> he's, a cool, he's a cool dude. He's yeah, a cool he's dude. Very yeah, good yeah, people, yeah. good people, good people. Yeah, I mean, he real humble. And I like that about him. He real humble. And, you know, he just, he, he cool, man. He real cool. So, yeah. So, Mingu, mm-hmm. Benjai, Rebel. Um, yeah, Reb- big up to those Rebel, that went Rebel. Oh yeah, God. Rebel was that, a Rebel was, was a scene. Yeah, it's it's so weird. To, it, that feels like so long ago. It feels like three, four months. And ago. that's when I hear DJ playing chipmunk music. Yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't meant to be at Rebel, Rebel, but then <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I see you in Rebel. Like. Yeah, I wasn't meant. I wasn't meant to be there, but me and my cousin went went down there. And it's another place that Batch didn't have a ticket yeah, with Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> what do you what a man say? Storm, <laughs> you know. Um, went down there, link up with Trinidad Killer and the Cash Money Brothers, them, and we end up in the um in in the backstage, mm-hmm. you know. And I make a little spin. I take a little walk, and who could I see? Simply E and and his wife. Who can be any bar? Yeah, fully. You know what I mean. Like it was, Batch, it was look, just like bare wife. family. He was like, you, you, you see my wife? I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boy. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I proud is is my wife. No, it's my wife. Brush your mouth, number three. You usually say it like that. Eh? That I nothing. She's my me, wife. My wife. <laughs> Anyways, so, so after yeah. Re- after Rebel, Rebel, Rebel was um, then uh, the following week, I it's didn't get of- I didn't get to come to to Zest uh, as well because. We my both, wife. me and my wife, we <laughs> were real tired. <laughs> yeah, we no, we were real exhausted because we had a, a real pumping week. I had to do, I had to work six to two for the whole week, six a.m. to two p.m. the whole week. You know what I mean? Um, and I had some stuff to finalize. And then the Friday, only do only thing. Saturday, I what played. was on Friday? Friday was Island Wine. Yeah, and, and Batch was at Scala with um, Bashman Party, Lolly. Yeah. The whole team. And I, I was um in um what's call it? Uh Midnight Mass. Yes. This Saturday. Then Sunday was Carnival. Carnival. No, what, there was something else on Saturday. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, the Friday. Start the mass. Yeah. Start the mass. Sorry. I um Midnight Mass was the Friday. Friday. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday um I represented uh for represent radio. Um sorry, I represented UK Zest on a represents radio carnival program. They had Kess. Um, Sir DJ Corey. Did you did you did you um did you get a picture with Kess and them all? No, 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 it wasn't live, it was pre recorded. Oh. Because obviously I was on the road for Carnival. What? Are you so calling I, are you calling somebody? No. Oh, so yeah. Right. Um and but then yeah. Carnival Sunday. Carnival, Carnival Sunday Mo- was mad. Carnival Monday was our movie. Listen, big up the whole GMI family. Big the, up yeah, um big up to you come. You come all the bless up the place, man. Big up to Dynamic Sounds. Rennie and uh, Double M, Celine, everybody, the whole family. Yeah. Outside. And of course, on Carnival Monday, UK Zest represented yes. on the main stage in the, Tower Square outside the, the main Tabernacle. stage the in Alvaro Tower Square. The Alvaro Barrington stage sponsored by Sponsored. 
and Notting Hill can sponsored, not sponsored. That's what you said. <laughs> I know, I know, I've, I've fumbled. Um, the the Alvaro Barrington stage sponsored mm. by Ciroc and by Notting Hill Carnival. Right. And, you know, it a lot of not much prep went into it. Mm-hmm. Um, I can go into detail about what happened. Nah, 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 because right. because because because, <laughs> because a certain um, you know young prodigy of a DJ now by reach late now by, you know what I mean. Mm. I don't want to call no names now DJ Bracho. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turn up late to the booking dog. <laughs> big stage, you know, a big big nothing else stage. Right. I said bossy head fame, but you know, Braddy's my boy. Yeah, that, that, that's 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 a big L still. <laughs> but. We made up for it. We we well. That's no excuse, but this, we did make up for it. You know, I I'm not gonna lie to you. The devil was whispering in my ears when 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 Braddy wasn't wasn't there on time because mm-hmm. we all were together on GMI. Big up GMI family for life. You don't know GMI. Hold on, did we not just say we were not gonna get into this? We get it into it. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Because yeah, we need to let. It. All right, I go allow you. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 shall the place down. We shall the place down. Mm. Big up Taji, my sister from Saint Martin and the Netherlands. She flew over here and she did her thing. Yeah, um, look out for the music video. Yeah, for, yeah. on the on the the, the rusty get ready. Yeah, they got a mad music video dropping soon. Mm-hmm. Look out for it. Bop, 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 um, bop, bop, on the Rusty Get Rhythm, Trinity Bay Productions, DJ Slimply E, and the Trinity Bay Productions did you, family. DJ what? Simply E. Did you say Slimply E? We wish. Why? No, he wish. We wish it was slim, but you know. No, listen. I have a uh, fuck off. I have a dad bod. I have a dad bod. Don't be on that. At my age, I look real good. I looking better than plenty of them young fellas and them. Eh? So try your best. That's what you keep telling yourself. That is what I know. Right, That's comparing then. himself to young fellas. I don't compare myself. They could, women compare me to them, and they know that I, and they know but that I just look better than them young boy and them. By women, to mean my wife. Women. <laughs> they just go to home by women. T- by women. No, I said by women. No, fuck off. You said by women. No, I didn't. Listen li- 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 back to the podcast. You lip too heavy. I find that. Watch how close that. <laughs> you know, watch how close that mic is to your mouth. Watch, watch, watch. You know. He practicing. You know. <laughs> no mic to be <laughs> close to my mouth. <laughs> no mic well, to I be know, close to my mouth. You know, I'm, I'm listening to them speak here. And you know the two Asian men. One in the car. One in the... Bloody, fuck bloody, you, bloody. bloody. <laughs> bastard, bastard, bitch. Bastard, bitch. Bastard, bitch. Bloody, fuck you, buddy. Bloody. Yeah, anyway. Dead. Yeah, yeah, now, but now we shall the place down. Mm. Um, big up Mr. Grills, Mr. Grills, the real shot, artist in shot. Mr. Grills. Oh, dinner, your whole. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. He it's messed a up this whole week. experience seeing Mr. Grill perform. Mm. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. If if you fail to be inspired by these people, like you're you're uninspirable, fam. Like, uninspirable. You're uninspirable, like Trinidad Killer. Un- Mr. Grill. Uninspirable. Uninspirable. Okay. That means you can aspire. I can't <laughs> lie. I, for, from a DJing perspective, obviously I'm not an artist, but from DJing for the likes of um, Killer, Grill, Batch, and just being around a lot of the artists, it's actually mad how you lot can just snap into action. It's, it's a different It's a different zone you go into. Like literally, you see, you see someone like Killer just standing inside of the stage... Um, just mellow, mellow, and then as soon as the rhythm drop, he just becomes but, a completely but, different but person. If it, but listen, but it's not hard. It's the same thing what we do as DJs and everybody. De- uh, definitely, it's but the it's same just, thing. But because it's different to DJing, no, no, I have a different appreciation for it. Okay, but no, but uh, we as we as DJs, we are artists as well, you know. Yeah, of course. If, if, if that's how we had to look at it, we're not just disc jockeys, as people like to say. We are DJs. We are artists. So we. We do the same thing what these other what these artists do. So you, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that's 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 how we do it. You know what I mean? But the Carnival was a scene. Carnival was mad. Um, it was so busy on the yeah. Monday. Oh my days. Yeah. And it then was unbelievably busy. And then to culminate everything, I had a chutney cruise the Saturday after Carnival. I can't remember what I had. So oh, I had to bro, listen. I, I need to go back through the calendar to see. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, that I'm cruise. so blessed at the moment because I've had so many bookings, um, or especially in August. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. What? Don't, 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 don't do that. You like to show if I had so many bookings since August. No, not even. You that. know what? I'm you know what's mad about Braddy? Yeah? Braddy, Braddy did a mad mix, a mad, a mad, um, a mad live, a mad mix on Represent Radio. He forgot to talk about that. No, he was started to talk about. No, it no, I, I, did, I, did. I, I said we represented on the carnival program. Yeah. I didn't go into it, but represented on the. Pro- 
represented UK's S on Represent Radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did, we did, we did, we did. Yes, but so, yeah. But nonetheless, people, so we back here. Come, let we go podcast show. If you just joined us, if you're listening to this, if you're listening to this, um, you know, uh, you can follow us on all of our social handles. My name, uh, DJ Simply E, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, yeah, and also Batch on the same handles, Brady on the same handles, um, you know, so you can follow us. Yeah. Oh, are you, are you ended up podcast already? Who is that one? Are you ending the podcast? Already? No, boy. I just remind them people why we to end it all. Nah, man. Oh, boy, just you, have, you have to remember some people in their 50s may be listening to this podcast and may need a little bit of guidance. Yeah, you for know? true, for true. We got people of all the you know, that demographic of. Um, what? Why do you fuck that <laughs> song? You're not giving all the trying to fuck me up, boy. No, I, I no, would never, never try to never. do that. <laughs> I would never try to do that. No, no. Anyways, guess so, that you guys know as well. I, I, for all my DJ brethren and sisters, I restarted. My most annoying Woo! thing that DJs hit. Yeah. 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 It has restarted. So far, so good. Trust me, so far, so good. And um, a lot of people have been telling me, yeah, boy, E, we've been waiting for that for the longest you know, while. You know, I'm going to do a, um, a, a video. Make it make sense. Yeah, eh? I'm going to do a video. Annoying yeah. things The most hate. annoying <laughs> things that people in Affet don't like about DJs. And the first thing I'm going to say is, why it is when we ask you to play a fucking song? <laughs> Let's never play this song. Hold on. And you know, I've got the exact reply. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, like, all the song. Uh, what, uh, listen. What, what can I DJ all the time? That is episode all, two. All the, all the, um... Are they playing songs from you? Are they downloading songs from YouTube to play? No, listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing, I, yeah, I don't why ever do. Why do you voice this like a chipmunk? So what I, <laughs> <laughs> why do you voice this? Why are they DJ and they voice song like nah, a chipmunk? Nah, nah. I, I do that, I do that, that video once the other day. I tell you, I come to rock and everything, yeah, you know. Yeah, listen. You know what else I can do, boy? I can do, um, why do you play the fucking local artist and the music? Yeah. I just play the local artist music. Do you? I do. Why your friends don't do it? My friends? Yeah. Because you're, not, you're not part of a league can, of DJs. Get them in the my friends. In the my friends. Nah, nah, didn't work. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll game that one. We'll game that one. We'll game that one. Because he's trying to, um, you know, separate himself from the assholes. Oh, breaking don't news. Play. Hey, breaking news. Just while we're speaking about, you know, new things. Simply E gave out his first why today. I think that deserves a clap. First what? Why? Why yeah, for that? Yeah. Yeah, and it was can on you, point still. Can yeah, you press he, the clap? Yeah, can you yeah. press the clap? Yeah. He finally grasped the concept <laughs> of what a why is. Yeah, he finally up, grasped the concept. Up, why oh, for that? That, yeah. that. Before, before he used to say, why are you guys thinking like homosexuals? I this, never saw that. Oh, no, 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 no. He used to call it, what's this gazy boot thing? Are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, this gazy boot thing. <laughs> that exactly what you gazy. did. That was very gazy boot ish. <laughs> exactly. But that's what you said, said it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but how he said it. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. Ah, yeah, that's how I said it. Yes, then. Clearly, um, DJ Bradshaw is probably from Chechnya. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he told me. No, but anyway, fellas, so, so yeah. at the end of the day, yeah, we, 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 we do we think. And um, yeah. as a collective, uh, yeah. the whole team was busy yeah, making boy. money, doing what we love. Mm -hmm. Like we really enjoyed ourselves, not just during the carnival period, but the build up to the carnival period as Definitely. well. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud to say that my team, Trini Bit Productions. Our team. I'm talking for myself. Oh, sorry. My Lord. team, Trini Bit Productions, mm -hmm. UK Zest. Mm -hmm. Push Soka, Soka Central. Um, who missing? Anybody missing? Trini Brit Sounds. Trini Brit Sounds. Well, Trini Brit Production. Trini That's Brit Sounds. They, they, you know, hold on, I hold on. There's just, always one in it. There's always um, one. Um, DJ DJ Bradshaw. Nothing but vibes. Yeah. Brought it. Um, I ain't heard that in a while. So outside that. takeover. Big up yourself. You did your thing as well. For true. You know. Um, Ace of Spades. You know. I, I had to big up the DJs. DJ Boots. DJ yeah, boy. Spade, Spade oi. DJ Bradshaw, DJ Brody. Simply E, Aeon Dynasty, AON Dynasty. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, AON. AON Dynasty, AON. Um, After Dark, After Dark Entertainment. Big up DJ KC, DJ KC, DJ Blood Clock Controller. You yo, mean? Yo, hey, 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 h
we can tell them about what happened the Friday just gone. Yeah, no, we will we'll get to that in a moment. Oh, mm. Yeah, um, DJ controller. Brack I have foot. to say, simply C. Yeah, simply C, as we call him now, because <laughs> he, he 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 fractured his um baby toe as well in two places. You know, we need to check up on him still because he said he went hospital on um on Saturday. He couldn't he couldn't make. You see all the fuckers? All going fuck, uh, fucking check controller. No, no, they come and check me, bro. All that we know, you here with your wife? You every she got everything on <laughs> controls. Yeah, true, Everything under control. All right, no, yeah, I, you know, the whole right. thing he says that, but when we get here, he's hitting us. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, 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 what time are they leaving? I'm too hurt. <laughs> that's how I switch off the laptop. <laughs> that's it. I switch off the laptop. Eh? All right, cool. The computer. Um, I will. I will say that. Um, I'm especially proud of DJ Controller. DJ Controller has transformed the leaps and bounds. The development, yeah, the crazy. development is crazy. The confidence that he now has when he's playing is crazy. He actually said to me, he was like, "Batch, before I, I wasn't confident to play in front of a crowd." And, yeah, I remember you know, that. Big yeah. up UK Zest for like giving me that platform to grow. And he's amongst a group of DJs who are all focused on success. They all work very dig- diligently towards mastering their craft and fine tuning. Like I always see all of them mm-hmm. fine tuning their work, their craft. They got special things that each and every DJ does that no one copies, but we applaud. Sorry. We applaud each other um, as we grow and we, we, we excel and we, we, they entertain. You know, UKSS is full of DJs that entertain mm. and every other DJ out there need to be aware of the UKSS team and all <coughs> that it comprises of all the names that we call just now because they're making waves from the youngest member of the team who's dj bradshaw i call him a, a, a young prodigy um he's, uh, he's amazing I, 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 I almost thought you're gonna say he's a young predator you know <laughs> what <laughs> hold on a minute. i don't know what the fuck hold hold on on if, if, if 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 shalandong dance is his prey he's a predator trust me he does his thing um okay, DJ simply E to the very like, oldest of the team. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> yeah. oldest. I have no fucking problem yeah. with that. <laughs> Not, um simply E is like the father of the of of the group. He he mentors. He pull up on people hard, can't let them know what time it is when they you know, it could either be it could either be attitude wise or it could either be, you know, poor DJ etiquette. As he he called he, he he calls his um his podcast on YouTube about you know DJ the DJ etiquette no I don't yeah. I don't fuck around yeah, he don't play when it comes to that and to be honest with you I I I see this as fertile ground for any DJ not any DJ could be part of UK Zest mm. to be honest you know because you have to meet, you have to meet a certain level a certain standard and a certain you know amount of seriousness behind your craft you know and mm-hmm. to the ones who are part of UK Zest. Like nobody lets us down. Everybody works diligently on perfecting their craft. So big up you. Yeah. Yeah, your boy Batch Dan say so. Yeah. Um so something happened on Friday. We got our first uh, play so, out. We, so we fast forward in now. Yeah, fast forward yeah. to Friday. Yeah. The end the yeah. very end of the carnival yeah. season. Yeah. yeah. Very end of the carnival season. We had the carnival replay. Mm-hmm. That was a joke. That was I love Soka UK. Big up DJ matches. Soka party the whole UK. team. Soka party. I love Soka UK. I think it's both, you know. It's I love Soka UK, bro. Don't tell me about matches. No, promotion, but it's also Soka Party Ooh, UK. Fight, fight, matches fight, promotion. fight, fight. I'm going to show you now. No, oh God, you honest. <laughs> well, DJ matches and the team. Now, let me let yeah. me show you something. Yeah? Like, matches is the realest in the whole of the UK Soka scene. They say that about me. I don't understand. No, no, no. DJ matches. I is was of kidding. The UK Soka bro, scene. I was kidding. Simply is the grumpiest in the UK. Yeah, oh, no, for I God's sake. Bro, I'm, I'm talking about something serious right now. Oh, sorry. So all jokes aside, mm-hmm. DJ Matches is the realest. And the reason why I say that is DJ Matches. DJ Matches is. Ocean, you do know that I'm recording, right? Right. Anyways, yeah, go ahead. DJ Matches. Come, come. Come. Right. Say hello. Say hello, podcast. Hello. That's Ocean. What's your name? Ocean. And how old are you? Five. Five? And Five like a dad. What's your favorite TV show? Uh-huh. They can't remember. I, I just saw... Coronation Street. Coronation? Curry, Curry Nation Street. Curry... Dalmatian Street. Oh, Dalmatian, Dalmatian Street. Street. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. No, actually, no. That 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 cartoon is real, is real vibes. <laughs> real. So, so Daddy Bradshaw and Uncle Batch is recording a podcast. Yeah. So yeah, care, yeah. What you need to do, you need to be quiet. Yeah. Or yeah, get out okay. of the studio. Oh my God! Right. Wait, you don't. Nah, okay. You kick it on ocean. You kick it on. It's like a show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like an ad break. Right. right. Good. Big up ocean every time. Wi-Fi not here, so ocean have to represent. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was saying like. DJ matches is the realest mm-hmm. on the scene. Like the reason why I say this is because ever since the beginning of my career as an artist, matches has always shown support. Even when I didn't think I was at a certain level, he reached out to me and spoke to me about it. He reached out to me and spoke to me about you know the direction that I should head in as an artist. And mm. he's always given good advice. And it's not only with me. It's like. He's been this way with many other artists on the scene, many other DJs on the scene. So what I always do is that like whenever I find like a really, really talented young DJ, like I will reach out to matches and I'll be like, yo, but not necessarily young, it could be any DJ that I think is mad talented. I reach out to matches and I'll be like, yo, you see DJ Sparky, for example, mm-hmm. this youth real bad, you take him <coughs> forward. Last week, Friday, Sparky played at I Love Soka UK. Um... I spoke to him about DJ Key. She hasn't been there yet, but I'm pretty sure she will be there soon. One of the baddest young female DJs on the way up. Um, I spoke to him about DJ Bradshaw. And obviously, he's he's well aware of my UK Zest team. So he asked me if we can bring the UK Zest team to play upstairs at Scala. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We turned up and, you know, the night at Scala, the people move like a wave. Sometimes... They wave downstairs, they see what the vibe is, they wave, we were upstairs, they wave upstairs, see what the vibe is, they check out the two rooms and I they can see say it, what I the can vibe say it, is. I can say it, I can say it. Yeah? You wanna say oh, it? I can say it, I can say it. Yeah, you go ahead and say it. Pull up, pull yeah? Pull the whole crowd from downstairs upstairs. That <laughs> nobody downstairs. <laughs> now, I would ask it a little bit different. I you already know my mouth had no cover. Bradshaw came on to play. Yeah? And I'm not gonna lie to you, the reason why. I always support DJ Bradshaw because I see greatness in the young man. Eh? And you little stubborn, but yeah. Yeah, you he, 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 he little stubborn and, 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 sh- and stupid sometimes. But, <laughs> don't call him that stupid. No, no, no. Don't call him Bradley knows Bradley knows Bradley knows. Don't call him stupid. Don't call him stupid. I will I will I I will tell you, don't call him stupid. Call him dotish. Now, so so like on many occasions. I would see destiny favor Bradshaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you see me, I is not a hater. I is a, I is a lover of a, of a underdog. I is a lover of a upcoming. I love to see people reach their true potential. And I always try my best to help people now. You have to remember, I do not have all the tools in my tool basket mm-hmm. to help somebody become the greatest that they can potentially become. But the few tools I have in my tool basket, I will use it to help people who I see deserving or hungry or working towards it get right. there. Now, and this is something people need to understand. Remember, I'm not a millionaire, bro, but I'm rich in life. I'm rich in having good people around me. So if I have to link somebody with Simply Eat, if I have to link somebody with Matches, mm. if I have to link somebody with QT2 Hype, or, or just, you know what I mean, just refer somebody on, like, I will do it. I don't hold on to the glory and say, well, I'm not, I not doing it because... Mm, I ain't making money from it and nothing to do for me. Like, I am an advocate for DJ Bradshaw. DJ Bradshaw is one of the maddest talents I've ever experienced in a long time. And I've been around some talents. Like, bro, I work closely with Simply E. It had nobody like Simply E. You understand? I work with Spade. It had nobody like Spade. I work with Boots. It had nobody like Boots. And currently, you know, DJ Bradshaw, for me, he's the maddest thing right now. So I had a bigger Bradshaw. Bradshaw, draw... The whole crowd. I don't know who was playing downstairs, but <laughs> you're the experienced DJ Bradshaw. Salt for Bradshaw, 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 the whole crowd. Dog. And the thing is, the whole place was lit. We were having so much fun. Yeah, big up my whole team. UK Z Sunday night. Um, controller did this thing. Spade did this thing. Couple mm. people didn't turn up because of personal issues. Respect to you lot. I hope everything okay. But you see when yo they had to ask us to like. To like end our 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 time early because like downstairs in the main room they were kind of like playing to nobody. Oh dear! Like, like 
Brady just had the whole place swinging. And I mean, it's mad, you know. I'm just gonna interject real quick. It's really mad because I I understand how you're trying to speak because we don't disrespect the definitely, people. Neither definitely. do we disrespect the organizers. Neither do we disrespect the DJs. But one of the DJs downstairs that, that had a set when I was playing upstairs was QE2 Hype. And QE2 Q- Hype is one of the maddest DJs in the whole of the scene. I know that. So hear what I'm saying, yeah? I never mean disrespect to them. And I, I spoke to QE2 Hype afterwards. He said, you know what? It's mad because it's it's... In, in things like event promotion, that's what happens, you know. And it for us, it was a learning curve because it was like we technically didn't do anything wrong. And it's also difficult for us because when we talk about this, people can easily take it in the wrong way and yeah, think yeah, that we're yeah. gloating or think that we're like making fun of the other nah, thing. Credit, but credit where credit is due, Braddy. And well, listen, it's listen, not just Braddy because... DJ Zander, Casey, Zander, Casey, the whole, the um, whole team, yeah, the whole team was upstairs represented, and and if you know the vibe of UK Zest and the contingent of and and our ethos, what we're actually trying to do, like you would understand that we don't run with the big headedness, we don't run with malicious thoughts, we don't run with bad mind, we don't. It's not even about that. It's just that we got a vibe, bro. We got a vibe, and 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 I, I give thanks for, for for to God for blessing me with all these talented people who are like-minded as well because i'm not gonna lie never a day yeah since because i mean the weeds always weed themselves out the weeds have weeded themselves out mm. and right now within uk zest never a day we have a complaint about anything like everybody is as a team as a contingent working towards a common goal and that's greatness together yeah. You know what I mean? Like we 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 all support each other. Like right. you will see, <clears throat> one person don't just host for his, his one brethren only. Like multiple people hosting for each other. Everybody just being part of the vibe, supporting each other. And you, like, I right, I'll tell you lot something here. Yeah? In the early stages of my music career, a lot of people used to follow with me for the free entry, and I never see them when I was performing. Like after the performance, I'd be like, Yo, where were you lot? And they were like, Oh, they went to the bar or they this or they that. Like. They were just there for the ride you know what i mean like i've experienced it over time and mm. for the first time in my life even with my teammates like the people who were my team back in the days like they were i feel like they were along for the ride as well because as soon as they start benefiting from from you know the perks of being an artist alongside mm. batch like i never saw them anymore you know what i mean big okay. up them same way like i got no malicious thoughts towards them but it's just the reality of it, got you know but now Whenever UK Zest touch down in a dance, you're sure to see some merchandise, you're sure to see us all together, you're sure to see us all holding our vibes, we're a family, mm. we're a team, we support each other. When one's playing, everybody's there. Because, I mean, it's not like if it's forced. The talent is truly there. Nobody's there for the ride, bro. Not Everybody's true. just naturally there for, like, genuine support and love. There's no more freeloaders. I don't have time for them. And anytime, like... Even in recent times, I've seen people who come with their, their little crafty mentality. They see a buzz going on over here. They want to come try infiltrate the buzz and get a forward. Like, I, I, I just allow them because I've, mm. I've learned that you let people drown themselves. You let them hang themselves with their mm. own intentions. You get me? Because UKSS is so infectious. If you, if you don't genuinely want to be part of it, you're going to end up getting a change of heart and wanting to be part of it. Because we're all, we're all for real. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm at Simply's house when there's nothing to do with music. Me and Bradshaw link up when there's nothing to do with playing out. There's nothing we to do with. We just chilling. You know what I mean? We're just holding our vibes like we're actually yeah. friends. Yeah. Now, I want to move on to a very sensitive topic, and and this oh, will God, this will really. also this will also like show you guys that like make you understand that UKZS is not just about the partying. No, we here. Talk so me. we've recently lost. Oh yeah, lost a brother. Mm. You're yeah, one of the most genuine people, like I've so genuine. Ever met in my life. Yeah, boy. Listen, yeah. I'm talking about Kobe. If you know Kobe, big up yourself. Kobe. Hand on heart, Kobe, we love you. Yep. The whole soccer scene knows yeah. Kobe. Eternally resting. Rest, in, rest in eternal peace, too. my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah for me. real. Rest now, in eternal peace. Yeah. Now you see Kobe, yeah. Kobe wasn't unnecessarily in your face type of person. 
But you had to notice him because he was always there being helpful. Mm -hmm. He was always respectful. He was always on the stage. Yeah, always DJ. kind. Like, if the live need tweaking, he was tweaking the live. Yeah. If he needed a drink. You know, if he needed a drink, Kobe was there. If he needed if you someone need, to hold your laptop. Bro, there's certain time he reached there early and Kobe's like, like, you see me, yeah, I don't like to make people do labor for me. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll do the work. Mm. And Kobe will be like, nah, I'll help you. And yeah, Kobe yeah. will just help me put the tables aside. He will help me set up everything. He will help me take the stuff out of the, out the Uber, out the cab, out the car. Like, some, like, the emotion that hits me here is that I feel like if I didn't get to know Kobe better, 100%. I feel like there's so much more to Kobe than just him being helpful and being a genuine supportive person to all of us. You know what I mean? So and I think, yeah, no, go on. It's mad fam, it's mad. So on, on Sunday, we all linked up. Um, the whole of the UK Zest family was not able to be there because mm. it was, I mean, we didn't, the, the people who organized, they didn't necessarily want it to be Look everybody. To, yeah. They wanted it to, it to be just a, the like close knit, a, a close, close knit. His, his closest people. I was privileged to be there, to be honest. Very mm -hmm. much so. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like I'm one year, almost one year into knowing Kobe. Right. And you, and you of Kobe before, mm -hmm. but getting to know Kobe closer, mm -hmm. you know, almost a year. Okay. And Kobe is UKSS. Kobe is UKSS family. Like the, the speeches that people were saying really really touched my heart and like it actually left me saying like right not that i didn't give kobe a fair chance i just wish i got i gotten closer with him mm. we, we were just busy you all were just busy yeah. regardless he was always there so we acknowledge him we made sure that's what i'm, I'm happy that we acknowledge him yeah when he while he was there so you know what i mean yeah he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't someone that nobody noticed he was he was a part of the a fabric. big light yeah, yeah. now DJ Spade was there, Chrissy Brandon was there, Xander organized, Bradshaw mm. was there. Like, so much representation was there. So much people that I didn't even know mm. was there. But even though we didn't know them, yeah, we, knew them we by were face. all there for the same cause. No. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was to celebrate our brother. Yeah, yeah, and it was just such an emotional moment. Like, we send some balloons up in the air for him lanterns. some lanterns up in the air for him mm. like he said a prayer for him played his favorite music played his favorite songs all night all night like we nice proper one. celebrated him and I'm, I'm telling you the celebration is not over because so UK Zest ain't finished celebrating Kobe's life yeah you don't know I think from 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 my perspective Kobe was a guy that you know and even in, in many of the speeches it was like Kobe was a like annoying brother because he was, but we all loved him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and I'm, be, I'm being deadly Listen, serious. In no, no, everyone's I, speech, I had that moment, even though he was mad annoying. Okay. Even though, <laughs> this, that, that, even that, though. That, Listen, me and Kobe know. had many a time where I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm playing, um, and w when I'm DJing, I get into a different sort of zone. So if you're like, if you keep talking it's, to me or something, it's, like, it's, it's going like to get annoying. It, it's like when you're eating, you don't want nobody to disturb you. This is a very serious topic, so we're no, not no, talking. I was, uh, I was serious too. Anyways, um, me and Kobe many a time had like a little blip, but after every time that happened, I'd always go to him, hug him and say, yo, you know you're my brother for life, things like that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sadie. Sadie. Um, so yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so um, Kobe mm. was like mm. the little older brother that, that everybody not necessarily wanted but needed he was he was the brother that everybody definitely needed. like just to support yeah, you just didn't to know, know you needed him you didn't, you didn't know you needed him but you needed yeah, it's, him, it's like. not even not even didn't want that's what it, it's yeah. exactly what Bat says yeah. it's it's he's the brother that you didn't know you needed like but you, the brother that was always there when you needed him okay. yes so for for me personally like i just felt sorry for the fact that you know, when people pass away, you they never know how much love people have yeah, for them I until they're that. gone. I mm. hate that. That's one of the world's worst qualities, in my opinion. Mind. That is normal. That is like, listen, that is like, it's like this, right? Now, when it comes to me being a DJ, and it's not, it's a, a lot, it's, 
you all know I'm very humble, right? But a lot of people, Ish. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> right? I'm very humble. No entry zone over here, right? Um, and um, a lot of people come to me. They call me a legend when it comes to uh, being a DJ, right? They call me a legend, and especially when it comes to the Chutney DJ aspect of it, they call me a Chutney a, a Chutney DJ legend. Where's that? Talking the fucking mic now. Talking the mic now. We were listening to you, bro. No, no, talking the mic. Where is it? No, say are it. you sure they say a legend or a ledge head? Because yeah. <laughs> they head like a ledge. <laughs> That's my dry joke for the day, but carry on. Clearly. Give me some of that water, they boy, then wet that joke. That's your simple e joke for the day. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I always tell people, like, okay, KI told me once, he said, E. You know, the government needs to give you an award, a national award for the work that you do as a DJ, a black man in the chutney industry. And I told K.I. flat out, they won't do it. You know when they will do it? When you're dead. When I die. Oh, when I'm dead. Sorry. That's when they will, no, not like that. But, um. That song came to my head. Yeah. They, that's when they will acknowledge you. It's the same thing they did with, um, with Roots Man. It's the thing, same thing they did with Shadow. It's the same thing they do with Kichi. It's the same thing they're going to do with Rose just now, you know, because I know Rose is not in the best of health. Blacks. You understand? It's the same thing they do with Blacks. All the time Blacks, they catch in your ass or whatever. And now Blacks do anything. is now, the uh, biggest legends yeah. ever. Black pass away. Soccer. Now, everybody want to acknowledge Blacks' ex- um, his existence. Legacy. Understood. His legacy, yeah. No, but you see, you you see know, the and, thing and, is... And it's, so, see, and it's so shitty. I'm, I'm on the fence with this one because... Nah, you I can't be like, on the fence because I... I feel I, like... I mean, you see when you see when you're alive, you're still actively doing. Right. You know? Um peop, I mean, yeah, it, it is it it would be good to say, you know what? Yeah, um big up this person because of the works that I, and I think I have seen that before. Like let's say like if somebody wins a gold medal for the country in the Olympics or something like that, you know, they get streets named after them, like mm-hmm. Brian Lara, a promenade and and stadium and 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 and, yeah. and Dwight York. I think it's York York get a stadium. Yeah, yeah Dwight York Stadium. And that, that Lara get a the, the, the Dwight York Stadium is the national stadium. Right. And and these type of stuff. I see no, no, sorry, sorry, of... sorry. The Hastie Crawford Stadium is the national stadium. Yeah. Dwight York Stadium is the um where's the Dwight York Stadium? It's in Arima. Uh, Do I talk one in Arima? Dwight York Stadium is in Arima. Uh, the Brian Lara. In, in, in Malabar, Arima. Mm. That, and the Brian Lara Probably Stadium. Get, we got Promenade, we got Stadium too. Yeah, and Brian Lara Stadium is in Golconda. Right. In Trinidad, so, Trinidad yeah, and Tobago, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So I've seen I've seen these things done. Now, if... Because you have to remember, some, some achievements are not seen as great as others at the time. But so listen. when somebody pass away, I still don't see nothing wrong with, you know, give like like naming something after no, them or, right. or, so, or, or or giving them the praise that they so, deserve. So my, my when when they were when they were alive, I mean, it's a, it could be a celebration no, of but, the entity I, that the person was. But my argument is this: out. this is my argument, right? So a man like Bungie, check this out. A man like Bungie, right? Bungie, they fight down Bungie for years. Big up to my boy, Bungie Garlin, my friend for life. Mm. You understand? They're fighting down for years. What would you give Bungie an award for? What would you give him an award for? What do you I'm mean? As, I'm, I'm honestly asking. With not, no, not, not an award. Uh, uh, what all right. what so would let, you let commemorate me, let me fin- him let me finish. Let me, fin- let me fin- finish my, my statement. I don't understand. So they fight him down. Mm-hmm. Bungie. He overcome. His, he sang different anthology. Right, mm-hmm. and then he ended up on BC one hundred six B, uh, BET. He went BEC, B, uh, BET, BET. one hundred six and Park. Mm-hmm. He ended up there before Marshall, mm-hmm. right? That's when everybody started to recognize and oh, Bungie, oh, Bungie, Bungie has been working behind the scenes with international artists and DJs. So, for example, what would you, what would you? But Bungie would I get like, like a Shakonia medal or something? I, I, I don't know what they call it. They're one of the highest honors in Trinidad. Are you gonna get that? For, you gonna get that? Okay. You understand? I have a spanner to throw in the works. What is that? You said that, for example, he's done a lot of work with other DJs, other artists. But from a different perspective, mm. is that necessarily bringing enough recognition? No. Yeah. No. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Is that bringing enough exposure and knowledge to Trinidad? 
for Trinidad to now no, I mean, award him. Sort of, not, well, you, well, no, but the, what I'm saying is personal, personal interest. If he was not record, then they rec- listen. Because we all, let's say Calypso Rose. Mm-hmm. Calypso Rose is a pioneer of the genre. The people started to forget about Calypso Rose until she gets some big freaking thing in France. So let's not go down that road. Correct, Let me not go down right. the road because no, it's no. only now they start to say, oh, Calypso Rose, Calypso Rose, Calypso Rose. Marshall do a song in Calypso Rose the other day. You understand? Yeah, she did go and, off the radio for yeah, a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, l- last but not least. Yeah. Roots man. I meet Roots man in person. When I was working 105 in Trinidad, I, w- I meet Roots man in person and I, and I shook his hand. Shook his hand and I praised him. And the way how I praised him and the man was so shocked. And he was almost teary eyed because no one ever greeted him with such reverence. Respect, respect the way him, how I greeted him. Because you know, you I know, I and is... I told him, and I even told him, I said, I would one day I will want to do the remix of Rock Me, Rock Me with you. And he said, Whenever you're ready. And you know what hurt me? Two weeks after that he passed away. Aye, Two aye, weeks aye. after that he passed away. You understand? E. It's like it's like this, right? I fully understand what you're saying because, like, for example, with, with we boy Kobe, mm. he was he he he's been there for all of us. He's been there in in subtle ways, mm. you know. But all these subtle ways add up. It's like, for example, um, we all gonna meet our maker at, at some point in time in life. Yeah, and that is the one thing guaranteed. You know, everybody gonna meet meet the the, the maker at some point, and. Like when when I when I when I give a speech, like I, it's not it's not in me at the moment. The thought is not in me at the moment to say, let me celebrate simply E, and all of his achievements and all of his great ma- greatness, mm. the great man that you are right now. Not saying that I don't recognize that you are a great person. Like I always say, friend, mentor, father figure, mm. producer, extraordinary talent, grandpa. Grump, grumpy, all these different things I'll say about you. Like when Whatever. I give a speech, it's like if I give a speech on your birthday, I'll, I'll, I'll be giving a speech. Yeah, but listen, you that you meet your maker. No, it doesn't mean that I don't rate you. It just means that for some reason, maybe no, right? tomorrow you we know, need to no, go no, and get no, 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 no. and get simply. This eat. is what you're doing no, right at now. The end of the year. No, hold on. This is what you're doing the, right now. You, tra- award, you are trying to be devil's advocate. No, That's I'm not. I'm actually. I'm being genuine. Like I. It's not in me. Is the thought is not in my mind right now, and and I kind of don't feel as though it's necessary for hold me. On. It's like this. No, no listen. To, to, you, to give you an award, no, 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 no. You will get an no, award. No, no, but listen to what I'm saying, Batch. You have been very instrumental in the soca scene here in the UK for some time, mm-hmm. right? To the point where a lot of people tend to overstep and overlook the uh, the many works that you have done over the years here in the UK. Mm-hmm. You de- if today or tomorrow, God forbid, please, uh, God forbid, if you happen to 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 close your eyes for the very last time, mm-hmm. it's only then that oh batch and then batch and then they will have documentaries and they'll have this and they go have that. And, fuck that. Fuck that. I just always say, if you can't honor me when I live in, don't honor me when I dead. That I, is my thing. I agree and disagree. Yeah. No, hold yeah, on. I, I if you can't, if you can't honor me when I'm living, don't honor me when I'm dead. And, I, and I'll give you a perfect example as well. And I have something to say right. afterwards. All right. Anand Yankaran. Let me do, we're going across the chutney now. Anand Yankaran has been very instrumental in the chutney industry for many, many years. Mm-hmm. Right? But, but. For, for many, many yeah. years. He is Rakesh Yankaran's brother. I talking all have another call. Yes, see all next Adam, 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 Adam Yankaran. Right. His, 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 uh, his brother is, is um Rakesh Yankaran. Mm-hmm. Right? Rex. And for some time, Anand Yankaran has been ill. And I could tell you how I know it because me and Anand Yankaran, we're good friends. Right? Me, Ricky Jai, Anand Yankaran, um, the Kumuto line, they call him. Um, oh, I hate when I, he passed away the other day. Sam Budram. Um, Budram Holders, all of these guys, we are very good friends, right? And it's only when Anand Yankaran passed away, that's when all these stations decide they want to play him music. That's when everybody decided they want to post video to talk about him. That's when everybody want to do, want to want to give him a freaking award and all kind of thing. And I posted, I said, if you can't honor the fucking man while he was alive, don't call his name when he dead. 
don't. Yeah, and a lo- that he- no, listen. Can I speak? The, a lot of people agreed with me because they w- he was neglected. He, they didn't even fart on him when he was alive. So this is my problem. Yes, disrespectful. So should he? So th- what you're saying is is that, let's say, because he because he, all right he did do a lot of stuff for the chutney industry, right? And he passed away. You're saying now mm-hmm. that he's passed away, everybody should just carry on like if he didn't do anything for the chutney industry. Now that he's passed away, um, mm-hmm. yeah. Now that he's passed away, it mm-hmm. it. It makes sense to not continue neglecting him. To let the people who who didn't know him, yeah, to let the people who didn't know that he passed away, and the people who didn't know exactly what he did, mm. let them know that hey, this guy did this, yeah, and you. you need to celebrate him, you know, and, it's, and, it's, and bring awareness to his name that he's passed away, and don't let don't let his passing just don't let his passing just be swept under the carpet. You know, like no, I, do, I never like said that. Let it get swept it's, under the it's, carpet. It's, it's, it's a man. It's a. It's it, it's a thing where, yes, they're wrong for not honoring him, and this is the thing about humans. I think is I think I think human beings, yeah, we no longer we no longer um hold certain certain um Make cultural it, mm. cultural um, and traditional and traditional attributes. To, to us because we've become a, a consumer world we've become such a such a um a superficial world where people people only care about who's in the limelight people care about who has the most money people cares about who has the most nice clothes people care about social lights people care about social media people care about like like influencers and and what this one's doing and that what that one's doing mm. but it's like even even governments as well governments they like I don't even know what governments do other than pave the road and 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 like keep the utilities running. Like there's so much more to to looking after your your people mm. than just making them work and pay bills and giving them healthcare or or some countries even just make them pay for healthcare. You know, there's there's so much like when you when you think of a government and the people that live in the country, there's a divide like a disconnect. Like they don't know what the people really want. The people know what they really want, and the government only really listens to them, like mm. like during election time, or, or or and then where as soon as they win the election, it just they just go ghost again, you know, it's, and just focus on, on about, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a mad system that we live in, and 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 who are the people? Tell me, no no no, I know where there's a broken a broken wheel in 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 the system in regards to to the to the to the welfare of. Of talents of people who do great feats and great deeds for their culture and their art forms, and it's it's in it's in the form of the promoters. Mm. I say the promoters because the promoters are the ones who all year round make money from the culture. Now the people who work hard to pioneer the music, to pioneer the industries, if they're not a promoter, they makes no money. Mm. If they don't have songs that are continuously being streamed mm-hmm. or sampled, they get no money. They get no royalties. Right. You know, and people have evolved from listening to Calypso as the main song track for Carnival. Soca. You know, now it's soca music. Mm-hmm. You know, and and when you when you really think of it, the money that's made from the festival that was built from Calypso and Steel Pan. And now it's soca music and fets. Right. Yeah. None of that money goes back. No, but <laughs> all that money goes on lines pockets and just make sure that you could cover the health and safety yeah, of no, whoever whoever but, to put on the next event. But but where is where is the where is where is the money that goes back into the art form? So, goes back to looking after these these pioneers of the genre. No, but like, all right. So like, so like plenty of times I hear news of of artists back home. You know they're suffering. They they don't have. They they, they need healthcare. They need transplants. They need right. medication. Right. So again, and there's listen, nothing in store for them. Listen. Who this is no 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Meant to look again, after them. if we if if we this if we are the um if we are ambassadors, and I say that with open closing with the commas, if we are the ambassadors, we represent in a country. Isn't it right for the government of said country to more or less help the situation? They are the ones that are supposed to, to invest. And the uh, and what it is you're doing. Well, what's the point of them investing if the promoters don't? No, 
I'm, 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 I'm just asking a question. All right. So, okay. So, this is another question, right? So, all right. So, let me, let me, let me, let me just uh, go off on a tangent here. So, I've noticed, let's just say, and this is, to, this is not to, to lamb blast anybody, but this is what I have noticed. In the UK, they are UK soca artists, right? But you will bring an, a, a soca artist from a different country to the UK and not hire the UK soca artist as opening acts for said soca concert. Why? So, Some. Why? Because is that is that subliminally you trying to say that the soca artists in the UK not, uh, are not of that caliber? No, because technically, plain speaking, it could be simply, well, Bungie Garland costs 15 grand mm. and we don't have anyone. No, budget. he don't cost 15 grand. I can tell you that from now. No, no, don't I, cost I, I, I don't know how much it costs, but for example, mm. my, my budget is 30 grand for my artists alone. Right. Okay. So if that's if it's 30 grand, why not split that 30 grand? Just saying, let him out. Why not split that 30 grand among the creme de la creme? Artists in the UK and hold a concert, showcase the UK talent. Because, because no, hold nobody on, hold on. will go. Because nobody will go. Let me tell you something. Nobody. But why? Right, because UK Soka is it represented how it should be represented? UK Soka is amazing. But tell it's me, UK tell me, Soka. tell me right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a UK soccer artist. I'm a soccer artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for the UK soccer artist, when they listen to this, maybe I could comment. Maybe I could reach out and say, um, what, what what I want to ask is, how many of you could bring a hundred people to a fet? How many of you could bring two hundred people to a fet? How much? How many of you could bring five hundred? All right. So now, what? Now, when, I have some of this now, after when, when 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 I Let's say, for example, I'm putting on an event. I ask myself the question, how many people can an artist, and I show all promoters ask themselves this question, if I bring this artist, how many patrons are going to come to patronize this event to see this artist, and is it going to make me a profit? Um, honestly speaking, and no disrespect to anybody, but there's no uk-based artist who's bringing 500 people to our dance yet but my question there's is still why? a lot more work why, to and, be and, done. And I hear what why you say that the reason why is that soca music is an import no no and no an export of the caribbean no, no all right yeah, so soca let, music and its culture kind of caribbean culture is an export of the no caribbean. no but 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 no it's I'm an go, I'm, listen i'm, and, I'm going and, by what it is you and, said you know? and and there, there's also you have to remember there's also many artists mm. from the caribbean who cannot bring 100 people to Afetia in London. They cannot bring 500 people. They cannot bring 1,000. So you, and they are the ones who do not get booked. So, so, the ones so, who do, can, so do you believe, how many, do you believe, Bach, that you can bring in 500 people in an event? I can bring in a million people in an event. Every that, promoter should book me. Right, good. So so you you believe that. So the same, yeah. the same um, uh, confident mentality that you have, everybody else supposed to have it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, e, facts is facts. I could watch myself in the mirror and tell myself but how, I have a straight nose as much as right, I want. But, but as how, soon as I turn, I'm going to look at you. You're going to tell me I have a big bell pepper nose on my face. Right. You cannot lie. The figures no, but will listen, tell. Listen to what you I'm saying. No, 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 what, no. No batch, matter what batch, nobody say. Batch. It had to no, make sense. No, no, no. It had listen, to make sense. Listen, listen. It have to if it not make sense. I believe that I can fill up an, uh, uh, an arena. I believe that. DJ simply he can fill out an arena. In the I UK? Believe, hold on. I believe that. In the UK? Yeah, in the UK. Anywhere I go. Anywhere I go. You understand? Fair. That's what I believe. No, you hold on. at a place now in me, your career where you could let do that. Me, let me finish. Every single let artist in the UK who doing soca music, mm. they cannot fall out an arena. No artist here could do that. Yeah, but why? Because they're not there yet. It's what? just like no. how it's yeah, but, uh, yeah, up to it's now you're like not explaining to me why. Because they're not there in their career yet. Why? You have to work to get there. Exactly. Exactly. So what are they working towards? Have well, they been working? Well, that is their business. They have to work to that. I know what I'm working for. Everybody know what they're working for. And until everybody gets to where they want to be, that's Bradshaw, their business. Do you believe you can fill? All right, let me ask you a question. Let me do some. Uh, listen, something simple as this. Scala. You can you fill? You can ram out Scala on my own. DJ Brad, in concert. Would you be able to ram so, out Scala? Yes or no? 
Yeah, but it, it's, That's not, not, the, it's yes, not just a yes or no yes question. Or it's not a no. yes or no question. Yes or Are no. Are we talking about three rooms, one room, two room? The question was... The main room. Main room. Talk question into was. the microphone, please. DJ Brad, yeah. The main room. Yeah. All right, so you're saying to me, Brady, yeah? Batch decides, hmm, it's Carnival Friday. And I want to put on a dance. Here, what I'm going to do. Out of all the DJs in the world, right? I am going to put DJ Bradshaw live at Scala. Full stop. Main room, full stop. No special guests. No, no special other guests, no other DJ, just DJ okay, Bradshaw. Okay, they're probably not. Can you fill out not, the not, whole venue? I'm not there yet. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. There's no disrespect to the artists here based in the UK. They are not there yet. We are not there yet. Simply, right? if I, if and, I, if and I that's said a, to and you... That's a fact. Simply, if I say to you, who's the biggest soccer artist in the UK? Don't be biased. Who are you going to say? Hmm. Batch. It's I the, will it, say Batch. That's with no bias. No bias. Batch. I know what Batch could do. The, but I'm not asking what he can do. I know what I'm he can do. What, he, what has he done? Because you have 25 songs of Batch on there that you know Batch can be the best. I have more. Don't worry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean Batch is the best right now. Because we sat here... Off the podcast but about you, a month ago, yeah, but you asked and me had the who, same conversation. Yeah, but you asked me who is the biggest artist in the UK right now, and I tell you, Batch. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So, so you so, believe that Batch will bring it, and and this is not me having faith in you because again, just like he knows, I know the levels to what you're at because we speak. I speak to you every single day. Yeah, hello. But do my, do my, favor, my question, just take the headphone off before you bust it because your head go get big now. Eh? <laughs> my <laughs> question is, do you feel that like Batch? Can pull in a bigger crowd, pulling, pulling, pulling. So that, that just kids my head. Do you think that match could bring in a bigger crowd than Trini Boy Juicy, than Black Boy, than Black Sun Boy Divas? Huh? Black Boy well, he's he's in the UK, no? Yeah, but he's not UK based. I mean, he lives in the UK. That's it's pretty. Anyways, um, make it make sense. There you go. Do, do you think that that batch can bring in a bigger crowd purely based on music, not who he knows, etc. Purely based on his music, a bigger crowd than the likes of Trini Boy Juicy. Yeah, fair. I believe. That. What I was gonna say earlier was what you were talking about the Bungie Garland thing mm -hmm. when we were talking about that. There's a reason promoters do things. When you look at a party. You have your biggest DJs, DJ Vibes, Lani, Capo, Supernatural, all of them DJs. When you look at the soca scene, um, you have Tate, Triple M, Magical, etc., 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 at the top. And then, as as and I'm talking about on a flyer, and then your less popular DJs in inverted commas. Now I understand your strategy. You didn't put your money flyer. Now I understand the strategy when they put him on the flyer. Eh? No, because right. you're on the top line under the flyer every yeah, week, so I don't try what, that. What? A top you, fly under the buy? What? No, you're on the top line of the flyer every week. Don't try that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so again, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. if if I am putting on an event, which is soca and dancehall, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick a big soca DJ, a big dancehall DJ, and multiple other DJs. But if it doesn't work in the budget, mm -hmm. then... Then I can't do that. Then, for example, if I take four of the biggest DJs. What? What? No. No. We don't. I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> go ahead. Jay. She doesn't want it. <laughs> go, go. So, <laughs> you take four of the biggest DJs and two of the smaller DJs or two big DJs and four small DJs. All right. So. It's all about pulling in a crowd. Right, Again, so hold on, hold on. I'm not finished. No. Parties. I was put in my place, boy. Right. Today's parties are not about are not about how good the music is. So this party or, is making it sound like if he oh, more fifty something. Eh? No, I'm being honest because I've uh, I've, uh, I've watched a lot of uh, you know movies. <laughs> so Anyways. parties today. If I book a le a lesser known DJ or I book Super Nitro. There's a difference. People may be more likely to come because of Supernatural. Mm. Or because that DJ is getting an opportunity to play at an event, he's going to tell it to all of his people and try and get as many of his people to come to that event. But parties today are not about 
talent. They're not about what you can do as a DJ or artist. They're about who can bring in the most numbers. In my honest opinion. All this right. is the uh, difference. Just no, just no, but just, let me just contact that, right? With that ideology, listen, with that ideology, DJ Key would have never been given an opportunity on UK's S. Spade would have never been given an opportunity on UK's S. You would have never been given That's an opportunity. That's not the oppo- truth. I'll shut my mouth. Never talk. I'm just saying. Right? Would have never been given an opportunity on UK's S. A lot of other DJs would have never been given an opportunity every in UKZS. Every DJ at UKZS would not have been at UKZS if that was the, the mentality behind that's the, um, UKZS. That's why I said that's that, now, that, That's my see, thing. Bats doesn't see, have that same mentality that uh, no, different promoters have. Because we're building. Exactly. And, and, and you know what's funny? What's funny about it, yeah? What's really funny about it is we're building and they're becoming consumers of what we're building. Mm-hmm. And that just goes to show that there's a major flaw in the way that things are. But UK Zest is is correcting that flaw because, you see, I'm not going to lie. Brad, he's my witness, he's my witness. We're not making thousands or millions from UK Zest, but we're making a type of richness that you can't buy from UK, UK Zest. And that's a richness of talent, mm-hmm. brotherhood, um, brother and sisterhood, you know, big up all the female DJs who have been part and are part of UKZS. Mm. You know, we're building connections with people on the ground. Like, there's people on the ground who you can't even mention a one bad word about UKZS because they religiously believe in what we're doing. They're seeing that this is not about making money, mm. it's about building something, it's about legacy. And a lot of people don't, don't understand legacy. A lot of people think legacy is. Yeah, we are the biggest event that run for 10 years. But you shitted on everybody. Yeah. You treat everybody like garbage. You didn't respond for the grassroots. You only brought in your friends and family. Bro, I don't even know DJ Bradshaw, bro. I don't even know Controller. Mm-hmm. I don't even ah, know Spade. A perfect example, Controller. You know? I don't even know Key. Well, I mean, like, I know them, but I don't know them. You know, I don't know boots. And everything here, know and everything here is, is of no of disrespect to it's any one of them. Eh? No, but guess what? Not. But guess what? It's been a year, almost. Mm-hmm. We've spent four week, four days of every month, and some people more. You know, um, putting on UK Zest, and Ooh, we've now become family. It's now UK Zest family. Like you don't even understand the joy. The love, the excitement when I see these faces every Thursday, straight up until we I was a Friday morning. Like it takes dedication. It takes a lot of a lot of love and, and commitment to be part of something. And I've seen like we've all seen it, Brady. You've seen loads of people rush. They rush the thing when they see the hype. And mm. where are they now? Where are they now? They're not true members. Mm. You know, big up you when you reach by our front doors. You're still welcome. And this is literally why I said about about the promoters thing, about numbers, not about building something, because a lot of promoters don't have this mindset. Now, again, I'm not saying that the mindset that, that Batch and we as the UK, uh, UK's S team have, I'm not saying that that's the best mindset to have, because at the end of the day, if you want to get exposure, if you want to become a good promoter, if you want to put on events that people want to go to, what you have to do is you have to book the biggest and the best because they are the people that most likely bring in the numbers. Again, we could take over however many events and there's enough talent within our team to, to not repeat one song and to keep everybody on the dance floor happy for a six-hour party. But a certain DJ will have a bigger name than one of us who could potentially bring in more people. And again, when you look to the business side of things, it's not about building something for some people. For some people, the business side of things is, I want to make money, I want to make my dance packed, and I want to make sure that I get numbers. So they bring, no, a, trust so, me. So they bring a DJ but that playing chipmunk music. No, okay. no, but on a, real, on a real E, this is the difference. This is the difference with UKZS. We have two different mindsets. Hey, I want to put on a dance and win now. Yeah. So that's why they will have an event once a month or once every three months. But we UKZS were building something. 
we're here every week. So, so, so what happens eventually? So, this whole, this the whole people that nobody thing. knows mm. at UKZS become people. They're gonna become people that everybody knows. There's because people that come to Zest. They're getting opportunities see, out of UKZS. Exactly. There's people that are coming to see Controller play. There's people who are coming to see Bradshaw play. There's people coming to see Boots. There's people coming to see Spade. There's people coming to see Simply E. Everybody have a crowd. Even if it's three people. Even if it's ten people. But well, wait a second. When we've got a proper promotion that we push for three months now. And we say, hey, we got the UK Zest team there. And guess what? We're going to have a one guest. We can bring a guest. Give them a prime time spot. We had nice. Trinidad Killer. Weeks you ago. See? You bring, we had you Mr. Bring Grill. Listen, we let me tell you how mad UK Zest is. Yeah, UK Zest, we drop a fly at 5.30 in the evening. Party start. We, we secure Ten. the venue at 6. Party start at 10. Party ram. Ram jam. Full of people. Nobody even knew something was happening. All they knew in is this is every Thursday. Mm. But at half past five in the evening, we drop the flyer. Six o'clock, we secure the venue. Ten o'clock party start. We party till half past five in the morning and people didn't want to leave to go home. So mm. we went to another place. So we went to another <laughs> place and party. You see how mad it is? Mm. UK Zest is a community. It's a movement. It's a, it's, and, 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 and I don't want, I don't want, us, I don't want us to lose the, tr- the trail of thought that brought us here. Mm-hmm. UK Zest, because of what it is, is brought people like our brother Kobe to be part of that family. 100%. And, you know, simply was saying why we wait until people pass away to say all the good things about them. Um, nobody never told Kobe anything bad about himself. Mm-hmm. You he know? just didn't tell him we how just good didn't he was. tell him how good he was. And, you know, at the end, this is how you humans are. We're reflective. At the end of things, we always reflect. And on reflection, I'm not going to lie, collectively... The whole UKSS family, CK, CPUK, and every other fraternity could be dancehall, Afrobeat, Soka, that got the privilege to know Kobe. We all say the same thing. He is the brother that you never know you needed, but is exactly not the brother you never know you needed, but exactly what you needed when yes. he was there for you. Mm-hmm. You know, big up yourself, Kobe. Rest in peace, bro. We mm-hmm. don't know the ins and outs about what happened to him. But, but, and that's the frustrating bit about it. But Kobe, you will not be forgotten. Your nope. legacy uh, will live on, bro. Yeah, it definitely will. Mm-hmm. Um, UK has got something special in store for your name. And to keep on remembering you throughout time, throughout generations. Trust me, we're not going to forget you, bro. Yeah, Mad love to you and your family. Your young ones, them. As mm-hmm. soon as we get to know exactly who they are, we're going to be there for them. Like if we are you. Yeah, man. You don't know. Yeah. yeah, man. Guys, you know, we, this is the, the Come Let We Go podcast. And you got uh, heated, yeah. boy. You yeah. got a little bit heated. No, no, it's not that, you know. I mean, we're very passionate about it. Uh, me in but particular, you. you all know me. Plus, yeah. we're all from the Caribbean. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's like, me and Batch more so. You, yeah, no, no, definitely. You're the half breed. Calm down. That's why I <laughs> haven't really said anything. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Now, nah, man, for just real. <laughs> no, in, in, all, in all honesty, it just pissed me off when people, people in general, society in general they neglect you when you are alive and then they are all want, they all want to do so much for you when you pass away and and in no mean I mean any disrespect to to how we are mourning we we will be mourning for Kobe right not you don't that, know that. you needed it until yeah. it's gone yeah and it, it just it just annoys me and it's something that I've been saying for many many years I've been saying it for years you know what I mean me a lot of people in Trinidad that they, listen, they treat me real, but I, I get treated like like crap. I moved to the UK. I'm doing a lot of things in the UK. In 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 six in the six years that I'm in the UK, I've done so much. You know what I mean? And then a lot of people now starting to recognize what I've been doing over the past 37 years of being a DJ. But it's fine. I've I've, I've Oh my god, I just clocked something. It was a You've been DJing twice my age. Yeah. And somebody's whole lifetime. Oh shit! Oh shit! And that's thanks, thanks for making me feel so fucking old. That's anyway. not even a di- bro. Thanks for making bro, me feel so old. When then. you were born, yeah, we <laughs> you started DJ. <laughs> you did that. You started DJ at sixteen, right? Sixteen, yeah. 16. Officially, well, actually, before that, but before that, I started to double in it. I used to mix with cassettes and all of that. When I was like 12, 13. That is, my, bro, one of your lifetime and two of my lifetime, the guy plays DJ. Nah, that's crazy. That is mad. 
That's wild. Batch. Why you man have to make me look so old, boy? I'm not even trying to make you look old. But so you tell me I'm old? You are old. But big up yourself. Oh, all right. You're lucky. I was going to give you the funky chicken. It's never chicken. no disrespect. I was going to give you the funky chicken, but it's all right. But it's... it's why, okay, you, with the, uh, why batch face looking long like a side of socks? So what happened? Because it's, it's, it's a uh, time of self-reflection. Trust me, bro. It's like... We, brother, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go into a bit of a topic, yeah. No oh God, you know. Wait, first, how long has the podcast been? Uh, it's uh, our twenty minutes. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah. it's, it's no more. Yeah, so <laughs> what I wanted to say is this experience of um, you know, losing my friend, my brother, my brother Kobe. Yeah, I, I sat and I listened to a lot of people open up about the struggles that they've been going through themselves you know um it's really really mad that we see each other every day and we don't really see each other every day we just put on a facade we put on our best outside face mm. our best outside personality and maybe sometimes we just you know like i'm not gonna lie when i see simply when i see brady i get happy i get excited a couple of other people close to me, I feel like that as well. You know, but one thing everybody said and everybody had in common was whenever we face that quiet moment, each and every one of us were thinking about him and the Literally. sadness and the sorrow it brought to us that he's no longer with us. And it doesn't feel real still. It doesn't feel real. It's numb. Like, while we were zesting on Thursday, he was dying, bro. And that's when you really put things into perspective. The, our brother, so somebody said this the other day, and it really reminisced of me. Everyone, the, the talking point at that time was was the Queen. Mm -hmm. But, no, no, no we're, not, we're, we're not talking about that. But mm -hmm. the talking point was the Queen. But when you put things into perspective, our brother was, we, you know, what we were thinking about one person we could have been thinking more about our brother. Mm -hmm. And it's like, when things like that, and you just take a step back and you put things into perspective, and it's like, multiple days, we're just thinking, oh, he's just been a bit quiet, or he's just been, Not, like, inactive. You see, you see, Brady, yeah? what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that I haven't seen or spoken to my big brother, my, my, my older brother in days. Yeah? I haven't spoken to my older sister in days. I haven't spoken to so many of my friends from college days, school days, people who I used to see every day, you know, even people who I started doing music with. I haven't spoken to them or seen them or, or anything them for many hours, many, many days, you know, and you don't think to yourself, Hmm. I wonder what they're going through right now. Mm. Because I know for sure I'm going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. And I know when you have your quiet moment, you face your own struggles, Brady. And E, I know when you have your quiet moment, you face your own struggles as well. But the conversations that everyone were having, without calling names, multiple people mentioned to me about their suicidal thoughts. Many people mentioned to me about the depression that they're facing. Many people mentioned to me that they're going through these things and it's not that there's nobody to talk to or they feel like if there is nobody to talk to, they also don't feel like speaking to anybody because Which they don't think anybody will understand what they're going through. Mm. And that is synonymous with so many, not just young people, not just old people, with so many people today. Everybody is feeling a type of way and they don't have trust in humanity to be there for them. They don't even want to talk to nobody or they also don't feel like if they could speak to anybody. Now, if you're listening to this podcast here, yeah, I know you may not want to talk to that person that you used to be friends and you're not friends anymore. I know you may not want to reach out to that family member who done you bad or that friend who done you bad. But if you know you got a loved one right now, yeah, like, you know who it is you need to reach out to right now and just message them or call them. It could be 10 people, it could be 5 people, it could be 1 person. It could be you and your partner fell out 
and you know things are not the best right now just message them and say yo i hope you're okay and if you need somebody to talk to i'm here for you trust me because that could go such a long way right now because people are going through a hard time bro bills are killing us prices of everything is killing us you know what i mean and we, we tend to be affected by the material side of life because we need to maintain our homes we need to feed our families for us who have families and you know like like we just need to live so just try and be there for each other that's that's all i can say just try and be there for each other because right now spread the love i'm telling you i'm missing my brethren and i never used to see him every day i used to see him every thursday and it's killing me inside to know that i lost my brethren that i used to see every thursday mm. or if there's a event on a weekend and we all link up and you know and and we he, see each other whole of and, he did. and he's always there bro mm-hmm. always there not just there for one person there for everyone so if you know you know what to do you get me just reach out some drop pe- a message call some people just you get a me? phone call away you, you know me? brady if you need someone to talk to bro you know my number is always there ring my phone Gen- talk to me simply eat my number is always there. Ring my phone. Talk when, to me. Whenever I already decide to answer when I call in only then. You get me. Yeah. But anyways. Love. You're in done the house. Up. Guys. Spread the love, man. Anything, any, any, close, any closing? Not you. You talk plenty. Um, <laughs> Brady. Big up to all those listening. You know, so we're back every single week. The Come Live You Go podcast. Once again, rest in peace. Rest in power. Rest in more life and everything. All of these things. Mm-hmm. To our brother. Um... Keep supporting the podcast. Thank you for the support that we've already received. Mm-hmm. Keep supporting us as we keep supporting each other. Yeah. Like Bat said, spread the love. Look out for us. We're about to take over the world by storm. Mm-hmm. Big up wife. You're the building. Bye, wife. Bye, wife. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is here. And um, yeah, man. You know, so we're outside. Big up to everyone. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we're there. Big up yourself. All right. Um, Retro stepping out. All right. So, uh, okay. So, what I want to say is, in closing, right, is that as soon as, yeah, what all it right. is I want to say in closing is this: at the end of the day, don't at the end of the day, um, don't wait until the last minute to tell that person how you feel about them. Never ever wait until the 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 until they take the dying breath or the last breath for you to then regret that you never said anything to them. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I feel like this is like a toast moment, but about yeah. to have a drink. But at the end of the day, um, what? I said I feel like this is a toast moment. We have to leave my drink alone. Don't look at toast for Kobe. Leave my drinks alone, right? So at the end of the day, let's all. Live life and always be there for each other. And until the next one, guys, you should be just simply E. Don't know if it's a boy bash the bash the game the I representing Come Let Go Podcast. Mm-hmm. And you don't know if it's a boy Bradshaw, make your girl mad for sure. Yeah, represented know. every time. Yeah, don't Kobe, know. my brother, big up your damn self. You know I mean. Yeah, so guys, you don't know. So we got to say thank you very much. And until next week, for Kobe. Come Let Me Go. You for don't Kobe. know. All right. For Kobe. Keep it right there. Come, let me go, podcast. You don't know. Cause baby, honestly, there's no better place.